At its core, a database is pretty simple. It's just a place to store and organize your data. And in any business, we can have lots of data. Data about customer orders, shipments, web interactions, and support calls. And we need a place to store that data. That's where a database comes in handy. Now we need to talk about a few fundamental terms to help us better understand databases. Tables, records, fields, and keys. So any database could have one or more tables. This is an example of a table with customer information. It kind of looks like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So what it has in the first column is a customer ID, which helps us uniquely identify the customer. This is important because we could have two customers with the same name, and we want to distinguish between those. Also in this customer's table, we have their city and their state. Now within each table, records are rows, and fields are columns or variables. So we have in these database tables records and fields that we refer to. We've also got keys. So like the customer ID, that's a key. It helps us uniquely identify information in the tables. So a primary key, you see them here. In the customer's table, we have the customer ID. And in the order's table, we have the order ID. Again, they help us uniquely identify those things. We could also have a foreign key, which is basically using a primary key and another table to help provide additional context. So for example, in the orders table, the order ID is the primary key because it helps us uniquely identify the orders. We also include the customer ID because it gives us more context, helps us understand who made that order. Now what's important here is that the foreign key could be listed more than once because a customer could have multiple orders. When the key is a primary key, it should only be listed once and it helps us uniquely identify information. Those are a few basics about databases. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.